The point of this video is to help to understand the proper procedure for packing a trumpet or a cornet. We have a cornet here in preparation for shipping. And the most important step is going to be this first one that I'm going to talk about, and that's getting the instrument safely packed in the case. Now, a case like this, uh, obviously a vintage case, these were intended to take your instrument to school or take your instrument to a music performance. They're not intended for shipping. So what we have to do is we have to make this case into something that's going to protect the horn during shipping. The worst problem during shipping is can be seen right here because if we don't do something to make sure this is very secure in here, this horn is going to go back and forth. The bell is going to be damaged. This part of the bell is going to be damaged. I've seen it happen so many times. And the thing is that once an instrument is damaged, Yes, it, it likely can be repaired, but it's never the same. This horn has been damaged at one point, and it's very obvious that repairs were done here. What happens is the lacquer flakes off, and you can always tell when there's been a repair on an instrument. It, there's, there's no secrets. So the first thing we do is we remove all of these things that could possibly jump around in the case. Mouthpiece, lyre, and the mute. And then we take the horn out of the case, we set it aside. So we need to wrap up these little items. Now this case has one of these things with a little compartment underneath, perfect for putting the mute, for putting the lyre and the mouthpiece in there. So we'll wrap up the mouthpiece. We'll wrap up the lyre. And we'll put those in here so that they're snug. And then we need to fill this in with a little bit of packing material. So what we'll do is we can put some styrofoam peanuts or you could put some newspaper. There we go. That's ready to go. We'll put the flat back down. Now, then we want to put the horn in. Now it's important that that horn is got as much cushioning as possible. There's a little bit in this case, but we need to increase the amount of, of cushioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here like this, and then I'm going to push it against. There's a little block here with a pad. We want to make sure that's absolutely snug up against that. And ideally I would put some extra packing material in there. Push this in here, hold that down. Now we've got a big gap here. We need to put something in there that's going to make it secure. And what I'm going to use is a piece of a little larger bubble wrap. Tuck it right in there. Then we can take this mute, put it into some added material, put it in here, and then what we need to do is pack this compartment. So we'd want to completely fill this with crumpled paper of some kind, newspaper is fine, or styrofoam peanuts, either way, but it needs to be completely filled so this doesn't move around. And it gives just a little bit of extra um, cushioning security for the horn itself. Okay, now you'll notice that the lid is up just a little bit. That's good because that means we've got enough cushion in there. So then we can just close the horn case and we're done with that step. That's the most important thing. The next step would be to take some bubble wrap, the bigger bubble wrap, and wrap the case with that. So here we go, larger bubble wrap, and wrap up the case.
Now, ideally I'd want to put it on the top and the bottom just to give it some extra cushion. Now I have a box here, but it's a little too small. But what I normally do is put styrofoam peanuts on the bottom, then put the case in. And then you would fill up the case. But as you can see, it's just a little bit, the box is just a little bit too small for this case. Ideally, we'd want to have as much cushioning material as possible in the box to secure the case. The thing you don't ever want to do is to put a case like this into a box with no cushioning material because that's where problems can develop in the shipping. And if you do have any questions, please let me know because I'm always happy to answer any questions. Thanks for your time.